Okay, this is week four, lab four. This is William Schwab, and today we're investigating if statements. So if uh, you exceed a threshold, you do one thing, otherwise you do another thing. And at first we're just going to light an LED. Here's our program, and the code just sets a threshold at 400. If it's above the threshold, we light the LED. If it's not, we turn it off. Now I have preset this thing so it's right on the edge. And there's our LED, and you can see it's flickering. Now, we also have it pointed to the serial monitor so we can see what's happening. And if we look at the serial monitor, it's right, it's going between like 400, 401, 399 every once in a while. So if it's at 400, it's not lit. If it's at 401, it is lit. And that corresponds to a voltage of about 1.96 volts. And if we go higher, we shall see that our LED just stays on. And right now that's about 2.8 volts. And if we go lower, that's 1.72, 1.88, still off. And that's the first objective. Okay, this is objective two in the lab. And right now we're just using our line detector to detect a black line. And it's either we see it or we don't. And here's the code. It's really simple. Um, we just, uh, through trial and error, have a threshold of about 500 from the A to D converter. If it's greater than 500, it uh, is either no reflection or a black line, else it's white line. And we're going to use the serial monitor to uh, check that out. And there's our serial monitor. Here's now the sensor. If we're pointing it to the sky, it says nothing detected because there's no reflection. If we put it down and start tracking, right now it's tracking a white line. Then we move it over and it'll go to black line. So again, that's the black line, it's the white line. Now here's the same thing that we did a couple weeks ago where we put it over this, um, I don't know, kind of like a post-it note, but it's definitely black. But if we turn over here, it shows white line detected. If we move it away, It'll show white line still. Now if we go over our electrical tape, it's black line. So I'm not sure what the reflective properties are with that, but uh, not all black things are exactly equal, I guess, as it turns out. Um, and that's the end of that objective. Okay, for the third portion of the lab, what we're looking at is if both LEDs are grounded, even though the instructions say or, it should be an and, and what we have for the code is right there. And it's pretty much if both buttons are depressed, we'll light an LED. And that's what we have over here. If we do one, it doesn't light. Do two, it doesn't light. Do them both, it does. And we should note that that is also pin 13, which is our onboard LED that goes on to. So we can use that LED rather than uh, the LED that we hooked to pin 13, but it might be note for the future. So that's the third part. Okay, so here is objective four, and we're just trying to light one LED per what button we press, and we've got three push buttons. And so we've got, because objective five has red, green, blue, we've got the same LEDs right now. Here's the code. And instead of just using else, I've somehow come to the conclusion that we should be using else if statements in there instead of just if, if, if. We should be using if, else if, else if, and then finally the else. So what we've got over here is three LEDs. We push button one, red, button two, green, and button three, blue. And that is... Objective four. Okay, here's our fifth objective, and it's just like the fourth, except we're going to use an RGB to simulate this stuff. And if we look over here at the code, it's uh, pretty simil similar. Here's a truth table for um, red, green. Now this one will be yellow, blue, magenta, which would be blue and red, and cyan, which is blue and green. And if we go over here, there's more of the code. We go over here, and if we depress that one, red only, green only, blue only, the 
it's one and three or one and two it's red and green one and three is red and blue two and three is green and blue and if we try to use our handy diffuser let's try to look at the colors a little better and so there is red there's green there's blue and there's red and green red and blue and then blue and green so that's the fifth objective and that's it for lab number four